Hey guys, today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. I wanted to talk a little bit about map building and how you get your maps played by creators. YouTubers, Twitch streamers, that kind of thing. You want people to play your maps, number one, because it's just fun to watch them. Two, people that watch them might use your code in the item shop or just go play your map. It's marketing, folks, it's marketing. Now, I've had my maps played by a lot of different creators. Muzel. What kind of sick, disgusting mind does it take to come up with a death run map like this? Mini Minter. Be sure to subscribe to my. Okay, yeah, he was a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. Okay. Jelly and Slogerman. Oh, the leaks! What? <laughs> no! Alex Ace. Made by Mustard Plays. He's another content creator. His links will be down below if you want to check out his channel and, of course, the map itself. Kenworth and Pro Hennis. Ah! Uh! <laughs> <laughs> Nyx. There it is. Mustard plays 10,000 level default death run. All right, Mustard plays. Let's see what you got, bud. And a lot of other smaller to mid-sized creators have played my maps. Why have they been playing my maps over all the competition out there? There is a ton of competition. Let's just look at Drop Night real quick. So Drop Night is a site where people can come and submit their maps uh, and then people can find maps to play. You can look at here. Here's some of their featured maps. So this is Scissors Death Run 4.0 has been viewed 27,000 times on this site. Here's the Stranger Things map and so forth. Now, if you scroll down, here's all the new maps. Now, there's probably a dozen to two dozen maps that are uploaded to this site every day. So there's a lot of competition out there. So how does a creator come here and say, oh, I wanna play that map over say some other map. I have a few tips for you on how to make maps that creators want to play and then how to get it in front of them. Now, I'm not friends with any of the people that I mentioned before. I've never met any of them. I've never really even interacted with them on Twitter or anything like that, but they played my maps. My first tip guys is to always be up to date with what's happening in the game. What has just been released? Are there some really cool new prefabs? Uh, are there new mechanics? Creators really care about what's new in the game. They want something that they can put in their title that is new and fresh and that is being searched that week. For example, when Prop Hunt came out, I made a Prop Hunt Death Run and a Prop Hunt Dropper. I knew every map maker in the world was gonna be making Prop Hunt maps, mostly just these hide and seek maps. But I wasn't sure if people were gonna make Death Runs or Droppers. And so I jumped on that right away and creators loved it. So what's new now? What's coming out that's new that for you to make a map on? When Shadow Bombs came out, people made Shadow Bomb Death Runs and creators played it. Try to come up with cool maps with the new items and I promise you some creators will play it. One thing I should mention is that you gotta be pretty quick on releasing these maps after the new item has come out. If you're one of the first persons with it, they'll play it because YouTubers are searching YouTube, Drop Night, Reddit, or anything that's fresh and cool. My second point is really connected to the first. So I was talking about being up to date with like new items and stuff, but also you guys need to do something that's really clickbait worthy. So I have a prop hunt dropper or a map that's made out of 10,000 tomato heads. This map is just a simple death run. It really is not that difficult, but I did a death run that was different than anything else that anyone had ever done. I knew that this would look good in a thumbnail and also in a title. That's why Muzelk played it. It was different, it was unique, it was fun. So is your map going to be a good thumbnail and title for creators? That's all creators really want is clickbait type stuff. Now let's talk for just a minute about your actual map design. Like how difficult do you make your map? Now this map I right here, this tomato head death run, I made it a little bit too hard I think. I think this first level is really where I made a mistake. It, this first level is really hard to get through the, the jumps properly and a lot of people uh, gave up on it. Uh, so I, I think I would have had more people play this map if this first level was just slightly easier. The rest of the levels I think were pretty straightforward and, and pretty easy, but uh, unless you are like a scissors type map maker, someone that has a huge audience and you've made some challenge or you have some prize or something like that, your maps need to be fairly easy. So here's the thing with YouTubers, uh, however long it takes them to shoot, the footage, you know, if it takes 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, it's gonna take them, you know, probably 
two to three times that to edit the video and get it ready for publishing. So if it took them three hours to shoot the video, it's gonna take them another three to six hours to edit it. So if it's taking a YouTuber six to nine hours to get a video out from your map, it's just less likely gonna happen. If your map takes about 30 minutes to shoot, then it only takes the YouTuber two to three hours tops to completely shoot, edit, and publish their video. That is highly attractive to these YouTubers who do this for a job. Their video is gonna get just as many clicks doing a 30 minute map versus a three hour map. That isn't always the case, there are exceptions to this rule. Um, if you do something that is just super cool, like a 5,000 level death run or something like that, YouTubers will play that, but generally speaking, they're looking for those shorter 30 to 60 minute maps. You want to make this as easy as possible for the YouTuber. Another tip I have is using nostalgia to your advantage. A lot of times people have trouble coming up with ideas for maps. Uh, just take something that's nostalgic like this. I chose uh, Undertale to make a map about. I just recreated the Sands battle in Fortnite and it was really cool and I was able to like do some cool stuff like put in music, um, I put in, you know, Shara here at the end. I mean, it was just really kind of nostalgic and fun. Sorry, I hit that, that music. This is the, the like scary music playing over and over again as you walk through this up to Shara. Now I should say uh, when you're doing nostalgic maps, if you're gonna put Undertale in your title. It's got to have some really cool Undertale type things in it. Like I use the same exact text throughout this map. I even made all of Megalovania. That was insane. Don't do that. But my point is you got to do stuff that is very nostalgic. Like if you're making a Star Wars map, it's got to have some really clearly Star Wars stuff in it. Don't make a Star Wars map and have it just be a space ship map. It's got to be a Death Star or an at, -AT or have X-Wings or TIE Fighters or whatever. It can't just have spaceships and call it Star Wars. It's got to be Star Wars. So nostalgia works really well on people, especially if it's relevant at the time or if it's just timeless, something like Mario or even like Undertale, you know, people still love this game. The cool thing about my Undertale map is it's so nostalgic that Polygon and Kotaku made an article about my map. How cool is that? Okay, what type of map should you make now? Should it be a dropper? Should it be a death run, an escape map, a mini game, a free for all? This is a really hard thing to say, but the maps that are more likely to get played are death runs, droppers, or escape maps. And I would say in that order, death runs are probably number one, droppers are number two, escape maps are number three. If you create some mini game, it could get played, but it's gonna have to be a spectacular mini game. A free for all map, just forget it guys. No one's gonna play your free for all map. Now, don't let what I'm saying discourage you from being creative and making something completely new. You never know, maybe you'll make a game mode that will become the next Counter-Strike. I mean, Counter-Strike was just a mod that eventually became all its own game. Like this map right here was one that I made that was a death run battle royale. So people had to go through a death run and then there was a battle royale at the end. I thought it was super fun, but no one played it. There's a risk in trying something different. People may not gravitate towards it, but if they do, it could pay off big dividends. It's a higher risk in doing something different, but there's a much higher reward if people catch on to it. Okay, so you have an awesome map. What do you do? First, you can post it on the Fortnite creative subreddit. A lot of YouTubers check the subreddit for cool new maps and information. Second, go to Drop Night and submit it there. Drop Night's getting really busy, but it's still a good place where creators go to find maps. Third, get on Twitter and start interacting with the creators you want to play your maps. I'll often just tweet out my map and say, Hey, I think you guys would like this, Muse Elk and Alex Ace and Mini Minter and so forth. Do not spam the creators, just give them a mention once and let it go. I've had people hound me to play their maps. It makes it so I don't wanna play their maps as much because I'm just annoyed at how many times they've tried to get me to play their map. There are other ways you can reach out to creators to play your maps. And once you've established a relationship with someone, then it gets a lot easier but building that relationship really takes them playing a few of your maps and getting used to you as a map creator. 
Okay guys, that is just a few of my tips on how you can get your maps played by the big YouTubers and creators out there. Uh, hopefully it helps a little bit. Uh, I love creative mode and I just want to see it thrive and do well and the more other creators are playing your maps, the more it thrives. If this video has helped you out at all, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, like it up, and uh, put comments below with your thoughts. I want to know what you guys think. Alright guys, I hope you have an awesome day.